PDR coming at you here with a 2017 Ford, uh, real nice King Ranch package uh, truck. It got a large golf ball dent and what I think is aluminum, definitely. It sounds like aluminum. Um, and that's it, you know, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off glue pulling. If you look right into the dent right there in the white streak of the line, you'll see that, I can even turn this off for a second and show you, uh, that there is a couple of fine scratches. Well, there's, you know, not much we can do about that. We'll get the dent out, we'll polish it, obviously, if there's, if those are through the clear, um, we'll just have to, you know, live with that. I told him that he could always have a professional detailer uh, do the 2000 grit and then buff it with a professional buffer and a lot of people might think well why don't you do that because that's that's a little iffy guys I don't like messing with those high rpm uh, guns the big rig uh, buffers so let's just stick a tab of glue in there and I definitely am going to use the, the little mini lifter on this one we're going to make sure the feet are all nice and clean And I don't need to give it a long time to dry. It's fairly cool out. I should have showed you the temp, but it's probably about 65 or less, 50 maybe. If you want to see what I'm doing here, let's look right into the board. Giving it nice slow pushes, pulls. Because it's aluminum, I'm pulling slow. I don't want to yank or shock or go crazy on this. I want to see how much it's gonna. Well, you know, I pulled it up too much let's see what we got okay that's what we got for first pull let's give her another one just a nice little easy soft pull guys the glue isn't super hot yet just started up the uh, process the video I really kind of pushed it into there and it's almost cool enough right now for me to I mean like the seven to ten second pull here yeah I'm gonna spin this around so I can look at it as I pull it, if you can see what I'm saying. And then, come up with the thing there. If you wanna get over here, see what I'm looking at. Real slow. It might pop, it might pop off, but I'm looking at it now when I release. Can't really tighten it up. Now it's gonna pop little bit more come back in just a sec okay guys it's windy but at least it's not rainy now it was about two or three pulls I'm gonna come in here at the finest point of the inside edge and I'm not hitting hard enough to make any dents I'm not hitting hard enough to dent the metal I'm just breaking down these brows the inside of this dent to spread it out a little bit because I see it's uh, most severe point now that I've lifted it a little bit I can see kind of into it a little more um, trying to give you a little bit more of the mental in-depth perspective of a maybe a large severe dent on an aluminum hood maybe on a brand new vehicle you know as the case here um, but at this point in the video is when I'll say I sure do appreciate y'all clicking on this video I really do if you would hit that subscribe button it sure helps out the channel man we love it to see more people enter the community sure love to see the community grow I sure love to see this dent go away yeah. okay we've made a pull or two we're coming in on this littler tab smaller tab I guess you'd call it English words things you know uh, I don't want to pull it from that direction wherever the feet has the the side that's solid it's gonna pull from the most and I pulled almost all my pulls from the top side so I want to pull this one from the bottom side it's still the same type of thing but it's gonna pull more from this bottom foot I don't really want to give it a snapperoo let's just pull it up nice and slow the other ones and then it found its release point see how much it moved 
grab the 91% we did just order 99% guys um, we have 99% ISO if needed but, uh, we'll probably finish off using the 91 just because I don't want to be wasteful on that and pour this stuff out like I did with the 70 but it was just causing me too much hassle so I had to I can get it I think I'm gonna give that one another of the exact same Keiko tab. I'm gonna go up and down with it, and I'm gonna go right through the middle like this. And I'm gonna even lay the, well, it doesn't matter if I lay the glue up and down because it's gonna spread everywhere, but put it right in there. And if you notice, I want it to grab this bottom edge as, as much as possible uh, to even out the, the wobble. So we'll come back to you in just a sec. That was about 10 seconds, guys. Giving it a nice pull. Holding it up. I might even tighten it up here. Give it a nice pull and just kind of hold it there. It's uh, aluminum being the way that aluminum is. See how that's almost stayed there? Look at that. I don't want to give it a nice smack or root one of those. I mean, it will if it's going to release, but. I want to basically pull it up evenly and slowly. I probably should have used a larger tab there, but I wanted to get this side, this front side edge up. And I don't know if we're gonna do this whole thing with glue, guys. We might be able to. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more tapping on the brows and a couple more pulls, and we'll come back to you in just a bit. Hey guys, we're back to the bigger tab. Make a pull. Got a little plane flying overhead. Little plane, sounds like. Don't got time to look. I'm making a little twist. Yeah, see, I made a little adjustment there last minute, too. And I can see the waves pulling where I wanted them to. So let's give this a nice, decent pull. And I will not lie, guys, it's been about five pulls since then. So it's not like, bam, this just came out this much. But yeah, let's turn this back on. See what we're looking at. It's moved. Now I got the bottom edge up, the bottom and the top edge up. They're both a little wowy, but they're about even with where I want them to be. So all I got to basically do is pull the rest of it up, right? Super simple. Yeah, just, just pull the rest up too. Okay, we'll do that in the next clip. Okay, I used a big tab, pulled a lot of it out going right in the center, drop it in, not dropping it like it's hot, dropping it like it's as it's cooling. And grabbing this fairly quick, fairly quickly. And I think I wanna pull it from this angle. Let me get in there, come on. Let me see what I got here. Give it a nice little tug in the center. I really don't want to snap this one that hard. I mean, if it, if it pops off like that, that's okay. But we're getting some of this dent out. Uh, ladies and gents, let's see how much of this one came out. And of course, like I say, if need be, if I need to get behind there with some tools and make some tiny pushes, I can. But honestly, this glue is doing pretty good. Let's make some taps right here. And I'm going to tap all directions, make it a little bit larger, and come back in just a bit. guys so I've done a little tapping a little pulling getting in there with a larger Keiko circular tab gonna make a nice strong pull sorry about the background noise we've got some trucks doing some stuff so. wow that was a decent pull and now if you look through those lines they look to be straight but I pulled up the edges of it so let's see if I got actually the whole dent I hope I mean, it looks impressive right there, and let's just see what we got when we pull this off. There's still a little tiny dent in the middle, so like I said, even if I have to get behind it with a couple of tools, a couple of rods, I will, but since we still have the heat gun warm, we've got this little guy. Let's just get it nice and hot, plop it right in the middle, boom. 
try to give it a real solid pull in about 10 seconds. So yeah, I'm gonna start setting up right now for it. Come on in, boom, that's been about 10 right there. So let's start making our pull. I can't even see it, but I can just see the metal flexing. Tighten it up where I can feel it flexing also. A little key to it. A little snap. I don't know. Let's... And yeah, the, uh, the idea is to make it all pull up evenly. Definitely don't want to make any volcanoes. We're starting to get one right here where we're, we're pulling up all the metal but it's not pulling that uh, center up. It's just, it's just kind of pulling everything around it. So I think I'm gonna actually tap down a little bit and come in with a larger tab and try to really pop it up real nice. Come back to you in just a sec. Okay guys, so I'm getting it nice and warm. We're waiting for the heat gun to heat back up. Uh, went through a battery, put a different battery on there. I'm getting this really warm. Some taps. Uh, why am I not using the chain jacks? Hammer, I don't know. Let's go here. Anywhere where there's a little ridge. And every time I move the metal and push in on it, it changes my view, my perspective. So I basically have to remember where I wanted to push trust it find that spot like I see it goes high right about here there's a little ridge it's right here that nobody knows nobody can see I can't even see it um, then there's another one back here the real intricacies of I mean how are you gonna get out of sharp again if it keeps on getting all wobbly and funky on you basically have to uh Turned up as high as it goes. It looks like it is. Oh, I tilted the board. That's what it is. That angle right there gets a little brighter. And I'm just looking down where I find the sharpest line. And when I push it, obviously that goes away. But I know that little line is right here. And so I kind of want to. It looks like I'm hitting right in the center of the dent, guys. But I'm really just breaking that line open a little bit. For some of this, I kind of am hitting in the center, but I'm getting it to be a round rather than a, a elongated little linear football edged thing. Let's get these edges out of the top. Nice and hard pushes, nice and hard taps, I mean. Just because I know it's starting to cool. And now it's spread out. I still see a little bit right here. I'm, uh, Real patient when it comes to this last little highs that I want to get out because if we get them out enough we can make a nice solid pull and that will be all we need excuse the background shakiness and the wind we're out here in nature I don't know if this glue is hot enough yet. That was uh, just the first try. We're about 10 seconds after, so I'm gonna give it just a minute here, not a minute, but five, four, three, sip of my coffee. I hope you guys have a drink to enjoy the commentary with. And once again, I will say, I sure do appreciate everybody clicking on this video. I don't know if it's a longer one or not, but at this point, we don't even mind when we're making a longer video. We just wanna show you everything we can. Now it's nice and tight. That line looks like it's straight. I want to shock it, not shock it, but stretch it. Not stretch it, but gosh, bring it up, right? Oh, that's a tough push. That's a, that's a tight pull there. That one said pop. So let's see if we uh, move some metal or if it moved all of the metal at once. No, it didn't move all of it at once. I'm gonna come in with a really small tap.
might go clear and I'm gonna come right in the center of it and I might have to do that literally five or six times guys uh, so we'll get back to you in just a sec okay guys let's throw a little one in there a little Keiko clear maybe just give it a couple of tugs to see how it's acting a little bit. I want to keep it taut. It's aluminum so I want to make sure it kind of stays pulled as I pull it. Uh, now let's see how much we got out of this one. I mean thinking about how big it was and looking at it now it's obviously gotten a lot smaller. I might even just have to come in and tool that last little bit out but let's give it one more pull larger of a tab this time I'm gonna come right through the middle and just kind of plop it right in there Oop, make sure I don't make any more dents and it is starting to get windy or stormy however you want to put it it's starting to get cold do that when I have a bunch of glue on it right now but let's come back with this little guy basically a little larger tab or maybe I need to reheat it so we'll come back to you in just a little bit okay guys we got a lot of it out coming back in with a little this time I am just gonna straight pop it oh it made a nice pull because I wanna I wanna get the center of that up and this is right where we're at here is crest and then a little bit of a center. I can either make some pushes or keep on back and forthing it with the glue. I'm going to uh, make a couple taps and make one big large tab pull and we'll come back and show you the end result in just a bit. Okay guys, here's what we ended up with. Um, definitely not perfect, uh, but we got the dent out and see if you can see any angle or reflection there. I don't have the board on it. It's got a little tiny tug to the center, but um, it's exactly what I promised. And I've already showed it to the customer. He's, he's extremely happy with it. So um, I sure hope that you guys liked watching this uh, weird, longer, a lot of glue pulling video. If you did, show me some love. Hit that like button for me.